James Webb Telescope found an unknown object in space. The first known interstellar object to travel through the solar system is Oumuamua. After publishing a report alleging the item may have had a manufactured origin, researchers at Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics created ripples in the mainstream media, offering the hypothesis that Oumuamua was sent purposely to encourage proximity by an extraterrestrial civilization. So, exactly what intriguing object is discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST? So stay tuned as we bring you the scientific discovery of the first ever white hole. Hello everyone, welcome to Space Discoveries. Subscribe to the channel for every single detail about the discoveries in the vastness of space. Also, do not forget to hit that bell icon for new updates. Having said that, let's get started. Separate from the Sun's gravitational impact, this idea is predicted on the object's excess acceleration, or a sudden spike in speed. When astronomers first noticed a strange cigar-shaped object hurtling past the Sun, they knew it had originated from another star system based on its path, but they couldn't figure out what it was. According to research published in the journal Nature, the interstellar visitor called Oumuamua is a tiny interstellar comet, not an asteroid or an extraterrestrial spaceship. When comets, icy or dusty objects that have been related to filthy snowballs approaching the sun, they generally produce lengthy tails. Earlier sightings of Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian, revealed no such tail, which led other astronomers to believe it was an asteroid. However, a fresh study based on additional data from ground-based observatories and the Hubble Space Telescope revealed an unexpected result. If it weren't an asteroid or space rock, the course of Oumuamua might be explained only by the gravitational forces put on it by the Sun and planets. Oumuamua is a comet, according to Alan Jackson, an astronomer at the University of Toronto, Scarborough. It must have lost a significant amount of ice before departing its native star system. He claims that a comet that has lost enough ice is practically the same as an asteroid. As a result, Oumuamua appears to be somewhere in the middle. Jackson had previously researched Oumuamua, which was not included in the current study. Whatever its true identity is, Oumuamua might be only the first of many such intergalactic visits. New James Webb telescopes, according to Jackson, should help astronomers detect a lot more things like Oumuamua we'll be able to piece together a more complete image of what planet-building pieces look like in different planetary systems, which will aid in our understanding of how planets develop. According to NASA, Oumuamua was the nearest planet to Earth. At 196,000 miles per hour and 83.3 kilometers per second, it was whizzing through the inner solar system. That's more than three times quicker than a main belt asteroid's typical speed. Despite this, Oumuamua is still in our solar system over four years later. It's presently sailing between Uranus and Neptune's orbits, traversing 1,486,000 miles, 2,391,485 kilometers every 24 hours. Astronomers anticipate reaching Neptune's orbit in four years, but it won't be totally out into interstellar space for another three years, illustrating how vast space truly is. In addition, a massive metallic object has been discovered in space. A group of scientists is planning an expedition to Psyche, a massive metallic asteroid presumed to be the exposed iron core of a shattered and stripped protoplanet. The projected expedition would provide new information regarding planet formation and the solar system's early days. We'd also get the first decent look at an unusual class of celestial objects, according to its creators. This is the first metal world that humans will have ever seen, according to team member Lindy Elkins Tanton, head of the Carnegie Institution of Science's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism. This, I believe, is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to undertake some basic work that has never been done before. The 155-mile-wide, 250-kilometer-long Psyche, which resides in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, is mostly made of iron, she continued. Scientists believe the object is the virtually bare core of a gateway planet, whose overlying rock layers were blown away long ago by catastrophic impacts. Psyche does provide a once-in-a-lifetime chance to discover more about the innards of planets on huge moons, whose bodies are buried behind kilometers of rock. A robotic expedition to Psyche would also aid astronomers in taking the measure of metal planets, a sort of solar system object about which scientists know very little. Elkins Tanton added, the initiative would transmit the first photographs and data ever collected from such a body back to Earth. We have a lot of information regarding snowy and ice bodies, but what about metal bodies? Elkins Tanton stated the following, what does a metal world's surface look like? 
It's possible that material melted and blasted out by major impacts on Psyche, before being lost in space, solidifies in a sheet, creating metallic curtains of ejecta to protrude from the rims of impact craters," she added. The Psyche mission, according to Elkins, will circle the massive asteroid for nearly six months, analyzing its topography, surface features, gravity and magnetic field, and other properties. A hit-and-run collision between two huge asteroids is depicted in this simulation. This type of collision might shatter the rocky layers of the large metal asteroid Psyche, revealing the protoplanet's iron core. The data collected by the spacecraft will help scientists better understand how planets began colliding in the first few million years of the solar system's existence, as well as the innards of terrestrial planets like Earth. The crew has been working on the proposal for approximately a year and a half and intends to submit it during NASA's next Discovery class mission solicitation. Then, in space, some strange object is discovered radiating energy. While mapping out the cosmos in strange objects in bursts of radiation every 20 minutes, a group of 18 astronomers noticed something odd. The object is located around 4,000 light years distant, and despite the distance, its energy bursts were so huge that it was one of the sky's greatest radio sources. The surges would last one minute every 20 minutes, then fade away for a few hours before repeating the pattern. The magazine Nature released a peer-reviewed article on the finding of the undiscovered energy source. During the observations, this object emerged and vanished many times over a few hours. That was entirely unexpected, said Natasha Hurley Walker, an astrophysicist at Curtin University in Australia and the study's principal author. For an astronomer, it was a little terrifying since there's nothing else in the sky that can do that. Tyrone O'Doherty, a current doctorate student, originally found the object in March 2018, using the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope in our back Western Australia. The multi-million dollar telescope has a large frequency and range field of view, allowing it to see far distant objects. Tyrone described the discovery as exciting, because it turned out to be such a strange thing. Astronomers have previously observed objects in space that switch on and off, which are often the death or remnants of a huge star. These light bursts are known as transients, according to the contemporary astronomer and co-author Jim Anderson. This item, however, is odd in that it does not act like a transitory. A slow transient is characterized by energy surges that last a few days before vanishing for months at a time. Within milliseconds or seconds, fast transients turn on and off. As a result, watching one flash for up to a minute will be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The team has made some educated estimates as to what it may be, but they aren't certain. It might be an ultra-long period magnetar, a sort of slowly rotating neutron star with a high magnetic field, according to Hurley Walker. However, it was assumed that it only existed in theory. Nobody anticipated being able to immediately identify one like this since they were so brilliant. Somehow, it converts magnetic energy to radio waves far more effectively than anything before, Walker explained. The mysterious object, according to Seth Shostak, a senior astronomer at the SETI Institute who was not engaged in the investigation, is similar to a lighthouse in that the flashes of light suggest that it is revolving. He believes that most scientists agree with Hurley Walker and that the star is most certainly dead. He also stated that there is no cause to be concerned about. It's not extraterrestrial intelligence attempting to communicate with other areas of the cosmos because it's natural and he claims he's never seen anything like it before. Shostak noted that the completion of the Square Kilometer Array Telescope, which will be the world's largest radio telescope, will allow astronomers to better analyze and examine space, potentially leading to the discovery of more objects like this in the future, as well as a concrete idea of what they are. So tell us what you think about all these now. Share your views in the comment section and we can proceed there with further interesting discussion. Having said that, that's it for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, then don't forget to press that thumbs up button and also that hot red subscribe button as well. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.